Hello and welcome to a demo video of the shipper application of Load'emup by AppScript.com. Now, Load'emup was designed as a freight broker solution, but we have made a versatile app that can be modified to suit the needs of different businesses. Now, in my previous videos, I had showed you the agent desktop application and the carrier application. And uh, in this video, I am going to show you the shipper's mobile application. Now, we took into account the fact that agents of a shipping company might be more comfortable using a desktop or a laptop application on the internet, which is why we designed the agent desktop application. Now, if we are talking about individual customers, they might be a little more comfortable with a mobile application that they can download off the App Store and the Play Store. And that is why we have the shipper's mobile application. Now, the first thing I will do is log in to the shipper's mobile application. I select login and I am going to enter my credentials. So we also support Facebook and Google login. So we support social media login and the credentials for the uh, shippers mobile application can be created from the super admin panel and I will show you that in another video. So this is the home screen and uh, you have a page for offers and you have a page for loads that have been assigned to you and then you have a history of all the loads that this particular shipper has done and then you have the profile pages. Now in the profile pages in the first tab you can view and edit the details of this particular shipper and secondly you have the wallet. Now in this industry uh, shippers are normally given a credit line. Now after they finish this line of credit they have to sort of recharge their credit line. Now in our in our app we refer to the shipper's credit line as a wallet and uh, there is a hard limit and a soft limit which are the limits on the wallet. Now the hard limit is that amount beyond which the shipper will not be able to make any more bookings if his credit line goes beyond that. And uh, when his credit line reaches a soft limit, he will get a warning or a notification. So the hard limit is in effect the limit of the shipper's wallet. Now, we have done this because a lot of times in this industry, um, shippers have to be given a line of credit and that is how the shipping industry works in general. So we have taken that into account as well. Then you have support pages where you can input support text and all of this can be done from the admin panel as well. And uh, it's quite easy to configure and very much customizable and in the invite tab you can invite your friends to social media and we support facebook invites twitter invites email and sms invites the about page allows you to rate the app on google play and on facebook and under legal you have the terms and conditions and privacy policy now all of this will link back to your own google and facebook accounts and whatever you want to set as the terms and conditions and privacy policy. Now coming back to the wallet, so in our app we support multiple or different payment gateways. So in this particular application we have configured Stripe because that is what we have by default. So um, in order to recharge my wallet I have to add a card. So in this case I have already added a card and I'll add another one just to show you. The card I'm adding is Stripe's test card. As you can see, it is powered by Stripe. There you go, the card has been added. And once you've added multiple cards, you can pick the card that you want to use to recharge your wallet. And let's say I want to recharge my wallet for 25,000 rupees. So I've now recharged my wallet for 25,000 rupees and hence the balance has increased from 18,000 to 43,000. 
the shipper has to recharge his wallet every time it reaches one of the limits or rather every time it reaches the hard limit. So I will now book a load on the shipper application. So in order to book a load, I go to the plus sign at the very middle of the screen. And I'm now taken to the page where the shipper can choose his vehicle type. Now we have a number of different vehicle types and everything is customizable according to your needs. And in this case, we have a truck, a car, a minivan, a bike and a trailer. Now, when you click on or rather when you tap a vehicle type, you get something known as a weight card and this can be configured from the admin and it shows you the approximate rate of this vehicle. Now this is not very relevant in this application because it, this application works on a fixed price model. However, looking at the weight card can give the shipper an estimation of the rate of this particular vehicle type. So he knows what to offer the carrier when he books a ride on this vehicle type, when he books a load on this vehicle type. So um, he will, let's say I select the minivan. And we also have multiple ways to enter addresses. So I can select my mini one and this will be registered as my pickup address right here. Now, when it comes to my drop address, I can either enter the location manually or I can, if I know exactly where I'm going, I can drop a pin on the map. And the third really cool feature that we have is the ability to add a, an address as a favorite address. So I can enter what I want here. When I mark it as a favorite address, I can pick a, uh, it to either be home or work or others in which you can name it anything you want. And this is very important in this sort of an application because uh, a lot of times shippers are going to be sending loads to the same location over and over again. And this sort of makes it a little bit easier for the shipper. So I will say book now and to home. And now the load details page. So I enter my pickup and drop date. And uh, let me just choose a different address so that we see an estimation of the distance and time. There we go. So the estimated distance is 8.35 kilometers and the estimated time is 5 hours. And these, these values are from Google. Now I'll enter a price of 2300 rupees and say next on the next page i can choose the sender and the receiver now if i myself am the sender i will click on the checkbox and my own details get filled there and it is editable again and here i enter the receiver's details Now this is quite important because the receiver gets a tracking link. Now this is called the receiver tracking link wherein the receiver can click on the link and he or she will be taken to his browser and he can track the load in real time. And um, <clears throat> he can also call the carrier and he can view the details of the load along with documents so on. Now it's quite important in a situation where the carrier cannot find the receiver. And we also have two types of loads in this application. One is called LTL and the second is called FTL. Now LTL, LTL indicates a load that is less than the truck load and FTL indicates a load that is a full truck load. Now if a load is an FTL load, that particular carrier cannot take up any more loads. Now. If a load is an LTL load, that carrier can take up more loads. Now, uh, we also set checks on the total amount or total uh, number of loads that a carrier can take 
Now the checks are based on dimensions and weight. Now as you notice every load has to have a dimension and every load has to have a weight. So, so um, the checks will be based on maximum values of dimensions and, and weight. So it is important because if you have a goods such as iron rods, it is not going to consume a lot of volume but it is going to weigh a lot. So in that sort of a situation, the weight check will come into effect and prevent the carrier from taking up more loads. Whereas if you have a goods type like you know cardboard boxes, then the weight might not be a lot, but in terms of dimensions, it will be a lot. And the dimension check will come into effect and prevent the carrier from taking up more loads. And the dimension check or the weight check will actually allow the carrier to take up loads until he reaches his limit with either the dimension or the weight and after that it will put a restriction on the carrier taking up more loads. Here you enter the quantity and you can attach a photo of the goods. Now this is important because in case of a dispute between any of the parties involved, the photo of the goods can serve as a proof or I can serve as a method to prove that nothing has gone wrong and there are multiple photos taken at different stages of the booking uh, in this app so the first picture is taken at the time of making the booking and the second second uh, second picture is taken when the carrier reaches the pickup point now the carrier has to take a picture of the goods at pickup and the carrier has to take a picture of the goods at drop and this serves as his proof of successful delivery. So I've made the booking on my uh, shipper app and I have my carrier app next to me and I can see that I've got a notification and the booking has arrived on the load board. Now, if you want to know more about my load board, go to the video on which has the carrier application along with the agent portal and you can find it on YouTube as well as our website. So I will now counter the offer from my carrier app. I'll say that I want 3000 rupees for this load. And as I can see, there's a notification that has come in real time and the first load uh, is now blue and that indicates that there is a new offer there. So when I select my first load, in I see two tabs, one for new offers and one for past offers. And in the new offers, as I can see, there is a new offer of 3000 rupees. Now on this page I can also see the details of the load by clicking on view job details and it shows me the dimension, the distance, the pickup and drop and the photos extra. Now coming back to the offers page, in the new offers I will choose to counter this offer once again. I have now countered the offer and I have got the notification on my carrier app. Now let's say the carrier chooses to accept this particular offer. There we go, the cap, uh, carrier has accepted it and the new offer has come in the new offers tab once again. But this time I do not have an, op I do not have an option to counter and all I can see is the accept button. So I click on accept and say yes. So as you can see the booking or the load has now been accepted or has been assigned to a particular carrier. So the load moves from the offers page to the my loads page. And the first load that you see here, this is the new load that has just been assigned to the carrier. Now if you click on load, you can see the pickup and the drop point and the position of the or the location of the carrier at this particular point in time. And you can also see the details of the load by selecting the load details. And you can also choose to cancel the load by clicking on the cancel icon in the middle. 
and you can call the driver by clicking on the call icon on the left hand side. So I am now going to go into my carrier app and start the load. So as soon as I've started the load, I get a notification saying that your ride is on the way. When I arrive at the pickup location, I get a notification saying that your carrier has arrived at the pickup location. Now, now as I start the trip, bear in mind that in a real life scenario, the vehicle's icon is going to move through the map from the pickup till the drop point. But in this case, since I have both the devices with me, you will not see any movement of the vehicle on the map. So I will start the trip from my carrier application. And the slight movement that you see is because of the GPS alignment. It's not an actual live track scenario. So we are currently on the live track page. So when the carrier is moving, the location gets updated on the live track page and it gives the shipper a good idea of where the carrier is, is at this point in time. And the receiver of the goods with the receiver tracking thing can see much of the same information as well. Now the carrier has reached his drop location and hence the shipper gets a notification. Now I'm now filling the invoice in my carrier application after I've completed the trip. And I've submitted the invoice in my carrier application and as I can see in real time I have got the invoice on my shipper application as well and I can now rate my carrier and I can choose to give him a comment and all the comments are customizable from the uh, super admin panel as well. Now I submit the invoice and that particular load is complete. And it's, it now goes to the history tab where I can see the details of all my completed loads. So that completes a demo of the uh, shipper application. And uh, you can know more about the Loadem Up app by watching our video with the carrier application and the uh, agent web application. I will now log out of my shipper app. There we go. And the booking is now complete. Thanks for watching our videos. And I will be uploading more from time to time.